In this Chief Architect X14 What's New video segment, I'm going to show off our new design-oriented features. Let's begin by looking at our updated dashboard screen. The Startup Options screen has been renamed to the Dashboard. It has a shortcut link to starting new plans and layouts, shows your file history for quick access to most recently used files, links to getting started, other learning resources, and finally, Chief Architect announcements. When you do have a plan, Elevation or 3D Render open, tiling the views will omit the dashboard screen. The dashboard screen will remain an open panel that you can easily refer to as needed. And last, to clear your recent files, there is an option to reset and clear the list from the file menu. Layers can be merged into a single layer through the Display Options or the Active Layer Display Options panel if you have enabled the Edit buttons. The first layer you click on will be the resulting merged layer. Undo will reverse the merge. Default and System layers are not eligible for merging. When saving a plan as a template file, there is an option to remove links to external references for both plans and callouts. If you have used the Reference Display option to superimpose a remodel plan over an as-built plan, this option would remove that link in any of your saved views. When you use the existing edit handle in X13 and X14 to copy or move objects, it does so at an absolute 90 degrees. Using the new edit handle, the object will copy at a relative 90 degrees. In the Transform Replicate dialog, there are new controls for the angle and distance that will allow you to move objects precisely. Predictive editing provides feedback as a part of your editing process. When placing a cabinet, you see a ghost outline of the cabinet before it's placed. Predictive editing provides similar feedback. With the Fillet tool, Notice the feedback on the object showing where the edit will occur. In 3D with the same object, the fillet provides feedback prior to your edit. You will see the new predictive feedback in many of the Chief Architect tools. A new 3D solid is available that unifies the box, primitive shape, and polyline solid into a single tool. When you create a 3D solid in an elevation view, there is an elevation reference to define its location, the same as if you had created the 3D solid in a plan view. Default settings are available to specify the initial behavior. The Unified 3D Solid tool combines the features of previous tools through a single interface providing flexibility to create a variety of shapes and objects. For primitive shaped objects, you will find a new label panel. CAD circles have an added circumference size variable, and for macros, added name value pairs for radius, diameter, and circumference. When converting CAD objects like this, the Convert Polyline Dialog option for Polyline Solid has been replaced with 3D Solid. For the Mac M1, Chief Architect X14 runs directly on these Apple M1 ARM processors without the Rosetta emulator. As a result, there is approximately a 20% performance improvement when you take a 3D view, generate elevations, or other tasks. There are several great new features in Chief Architect X14, and you can expect to see it this summer. And remember, all new software purchases include a year of support and software assurance. So, if you are not currently a customer, get started today with Chief Architect.